are you itching for cooler temperatures to get here? Or are you itching from something growing in your backyard? Here's Walter Reeves to the rescue. Hey everybody, I'm Walter Reeves at Woodlands Garden in Decatur. And one of the things I know you face when you hike in the woods or just go in your backyard is, what is poison ivy and what isn't? Well, today we're going to solve the mystery. All you have to know how to do is to count and to observe. Now, let's first look at some things that look like poison ivy, but aren't. First one, box elder maple. Now, this is a tree, and that's the best observation you can make. Yes, I know it has three leaves, and we all remember the, the poem of leaves of three, leave it be. But if you look at box elder maple right here, you can see it has a stem that's red all the way down to the main stem. And when it grows, it's more tree-like than anything else. So it's a box elder maple. All right, let's look at another vine. Hmm, here's one. Leaves of three again. One, two, three. But I observe as I look up and down the stem that it has thorns. And those thorns tell me this is just a bramble, a wild blackberry or something like that. And so even though it has the leaves of three, nope, that's not poison ivy either. All right, let's look at another one. Oh, here's a vine right here. I see it all the time in the woods. And I count the leaves. One, two, three, four, five. Leaves of three, leave it be. Leaves of five, stay alive. Okay, so leaves of five tell me that this is Virginia creeper. Now, Virginia creeper is sort of like I was when I was a kid. I hung out with a bad crowd. And <laughs> Virginia creeper hangs out with a bad crowd. You'll often see it mixed in amongst the poison ivy. But Virginia creeper is not a bad thing at all, not poisonous in the least. So do we have some poison ivy here? Sure we do. Right here. Leaves of three. One, two, three. Yes. Does it have a red center where all these leaflets come together? Because these truly are leaflets rather than this being the leaf and these individual things being leaflets. And look at the center. See where all the leaflets come together, how red and purple it is right there? Yep, that means that's poison ivy. And if I see a very hairy vine growing up inside of a tree, that's probably poison ivy too. Leaves of three, one, two, three, poison ivy, leave it be. But what if you see poison ivy in your landscape and you want to get rid of it and you don't want to get that poison ivy rash all over your skin? I'll tell you an easy thing you can do. Get some plastic like the newspaper comes in, you know. Put it around your hand like this, and you can hold poison ivy in your hand all day long. You can pull it up all day long. It just gets on the plastic. Watch me. I'll take the leaves of the poison ivy, pull it out of the ground, pull the plastic back over, and there's my poison ivy in the bag and no rash for Walter. Don't forget, there's lots more garden tips just like this at the Georgia Farm Monitor.